I'm OMW.
to be here all over again it's Enrico from uh, Reply the headquarter in Turin thank you very much for joining us uh, all over again because uh, we are live it's uh, kind of uh, 3 45 minutes right now Central European time it's March the 11 2021 and mostly it's uh, the fourth edition of the Reply Code Challenge the day that starts again the Reply Code Challenge both in the standard and the teen edition it's a pleasure and an honor for me to start again this incredible journey for a whole new year because the Code Challenge, as you well know, is just the first of all the other challenges. There will be the investment, the credit, the cybersecurity, and who knows how many others into this beautiful, again, a journey made together with our beautiful community 
most made by you, all the people involved and who register to challenges.reply.com, the website where everything happens and the place where you can show your talent, meet and network with other talents all, uh, all over the world. And of course, present yourself to Reply if you want it, because we are always hiring and there are many, many positions open just for you, the best talents worldwide in order to show your competencies and work with the Reply, a leading digital consulting company present all over the world. Uh, again, this is the Cold Challenge Day. We started the campaign kind of six, week, uh, six weeks ago. Uh, it was, again, another beautiful uh, journey, another beautiful campaign of registration with tons of interaction from all over, many, many channels like Telegram, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We, we cover uh, a, a big campaign with a lot of interaction from all over the world. And uh, today we start this live streaming 45 minutes before the official start of the challenge in order to welcome all of you and start, you know, feel comfortable, take your seat and prepare yourself, warming up for the challenge that will start officially at 4.30, so in a kind, again, of 45 minutes from now, live again on challenges.reply.com. It's Enrico, as I've already said, but as always, and luckily for you, I would say, I'm not alone. Together with me, there is a panel of amazing speakers that I will undisclose, reveal right now. Hello, all of you guys. It's a pleasure to have uh, all these people together with me. Ciao, I see many different, Hi. some familiar. Hi there, hi all of you. Some familiar and some new faces together with me. Uh, and so uh, again, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much for, uh, for your time here. Uh, I have to start presenting all of you, of course. Uh, we have time because again, we have 45 minutes from now. You will see among all these, those different windows that you see there is the war room, which is the place where everything will happen officially. So the backstage, let me see, you have the chance to see the backstage where the guys there exactly, hi, hi everybody, are working in order to release the challenge and uh, yeah, you know, start, make it happen. The magic will happen thanks to the guys there. Uh, I will uh, start presenting all of the uh, people involved in this live streaming. In the meanwhile, I kindly uh, suggest and propose to all the people connected, if you have questions, doubts, or if you just want to say hi, you can use on Twitch and YouTube the, the live comment uh, uh, platform in order to share your, your question, again, your comments, or just let us know where are you connecting from. And of course, there will be a uh, time right now in order to answer your question. Uh, most of all, remind that everything will happen on challenges.reply.com. So all again, connect there, open up your profile and start warming up for your team, with your team, because everything is about to happen. Let me just say again, hi, even to the repliers connected together with us, because you might know that together with so many people that I'm about to say how many, connected all over the world, there is a parallel challenge that is up only to the repliers, to, so to the community of people in reply, uh, and there are more than 400 repliers all over the world about to start playing with us, so good luck to all of you, both the repliers and the challengers all over the world, but again, it's a matter of saying hi uh, to the repliers as well. I would start uh, to presenting the, uh, again, the, the, the panel together with me right now. And I will start uh, by uh, the, the coach of the reply, Code Masters team, a creator of the Code Challenge. So Marco Cusinato, senior partner in reply. Ciao, Marco. Hi, hi, everybody. Oh, and uh, oh, all fine, yes, all fine. Since uh, we are uh, again in this, uh, pandemic situation and we are going to become red in uh, in all italy but for sure in piedmont where we are right now but anyway we are trying to continue our experience with the with the challenge that has been already digital and at the beginning also in real places now is uh, all digital but the experience is uh, as same as uh, as good as the beginning i mean so Let's go on. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Marco. It's, uh, we, we are together, as you say, it's the middle of the pandemic. So we are together in the same room, a bit far, so to, to keep and maintain the social distancing. Uh, but then anyhow, yeah, I do confirm, and you were um, uh, more than right in, in, uh, in telling us again, I mean, at least the situation we are living in, uh, we are missing definitely the... Uh, Marco, you were saying? 
No, just, just to say that uh, we are in the same room, but uh, security for the client, I think for everyone is, uh, is a must. So we got tested this morning right, on the right. coronavirus and uh, obviously we are negative, so. <laughs> <laughs> that, thank you for sharing because I, at least all, everyone in my family they are fine right now that they know that we tested all negative, luckily. And uh, yeah, most of all, I was saying it's a pity not to have the possibility to organize the hubs. You know that in many universities and companies, we, uh, the cold challenge were played together, at least until 2019. This time, unfortunately, like past year, 2020, it's not, we can't do it. Uh, we honestly hope, fingers crossed, that ne next year and maybe even some of the challenges this year might be organized with physical hubs altogether. Let me, uh, I mean, uh, again, we are live. It's eight minutes to four o'clock on challenges.reply.com. Let me continue the, the, the panel of presentation. I would like to involve uh, uh, Scott, uh, which is uh, part of the Codemaster team live from Atlanta, US. Hello, Scott. Can you hear me? Yeah, I guess that, yeah, you know, the, yep, the mute I thing. I was muted. Good morning. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> all fine? Yeah, it's all good. How are you all doing? Nice, nice to have you here with us today. It seems kind of sunny in Atlanta, right? Yeah, it's real nice here. Okay, really nice. Yeah, the, um, good to have, uh, I mean, you are just uh, one together with Gaspare. Let me involve one of the veterans of the Codemaster team. Ciao, Gaspare. Hi, hi everybody. Excited Hi to be here uh, for the first challenge of the year, uh, so the first of uh, many of challenges during uh, this year. So, pleasure, pleasure to have uh, you together with us all over again. For the people who might be interested in Gaspar, is right now part of the Code Master team, but uh, uh, one of the members of the winning team of the first reply Code Challenge in 20, uh, 2018. Am I right? Yes, the first edition. First and you are wearing the T-shirt of the first edition? Uh, no, <laughs> it's from the last year. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, that's great. Uh, so uh, I presented Marco, Scott, and Gaspare that together with many other repliers are part again of the Code Master Team, uh, the team of challenge creators. So everything that will be there in the challenge from 4:30 today. It's uh, uh, thanks to the guys here that spend a lot of hours during the year in order to realize the problem statement. May I ask, Gaspare, uh, uh, you may know it, w when you started to, to develop the, the problem statement for both the standard and the teen edition? So in the middle of uh, this summer, then uh, we, we come up with several ideas. Then in a month or two, we choose the best one. And then we start developing uh, from September. So. It's like uh, seven months of uh, preparation for the challenges. That's great. We were at the, sun, at the seaside, and in the meanwhile, you were preparing the challenge. Yes. <laughs> Somehow. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me continue the presentation loop. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, I mean, I, I, I'm more than happy in involving for the first time for the code challenge. We have a partnership with another company, not the, of course, not only Reply this time. And we found a great partner in Inuit telecommunication company. And together with us, there are Roberto Susino, technology and governance at Inuit, and Giampiero Lopes, innovation and engineering at Inuit. Hello, Roberto. Hello, hi everyone, and welcome everyone. Um, we will today we will try with Giampiero to introduce uh, some aspects of the 5G specs and uh, enable scenarios that will be uh, useful in this situation and will be. Uh, it will be very uh, yeah sorry a, a first time i guess a first time yeah, together yeah, a first time and, speaking uh, in, a, in a live webinar so i will, uh, will don't worry, apologize don't worry. A, a little bit of emotion <laughs> no come on don't worry at all the uh let me say this that i was uh, uh we'll be back to the the topics you mentioned i will involve Giampiero too hello Giampiero. Yeah. thank hello. you for joining hello us hello everybody today. i'm excited to to be here from naples from italy Wow, this beautiful. Is a very beautiful. sunny day with a very hot. All right, all right. I, 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 I mean, you see sun is shining in Atlanta, Georgia, and in Naples too. So good to, exactly. good to see that. Uh, let me say that we were uh, so happy to, of course, to have you on board as Inuit Telecommunication Company because of the topic we are about to talk about. Uh, but even because in Giampiero and in Roberto, we find out. Uh, let me say engineering minds, coders minds somehow. So you were definitely in the mood of the code challenge. 
So that, that, that is a good thing, I would guess, to I, I say Indeed. to... to uh, yeah, <laughs> we, in discussing with Roberto backstage, we already have to talk about the optimization problem, how to solve it, where... So it, it's a matter of being really connected. The, the participant with the details. <laughs> yeah, 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 don't worry, don't worry. Okay, I'm happy to continue the loop of presentation because we can move easily from Naples, with Gian, where Giampiero is connected, to Benevento, which is not that far, honestly, and a beautiful place where, where is connected the Professor Carlo Mazzone, IT teacher at uh, uh, Lucarelli High School. And uh, uh, I mean, in addition, he's uh, just if you don't know it, he was uh, in the top 10 of the Global Teacher Award this year. Ciao, Carlo. Hi, hi, ciao, hi, everybody. Buddy, I'm happy to be here. I hope to give my little contribution to this uh, uh, exciting For sure. uh, situation. For sure. I will, uh, I will uh, let me say, uh, tell this story all over again. We met Carlo because uh, once you have been uh, uh, achieved, I mean, you, you, re re yeah, you, you got this very important achievement, the top 10 of the Global Teacher Award, a worldwide prize for high school teachers that you can, of course, talk something about it better than me. But we, we see you at the Italian national broadcasting uh, uh, yeah, television, the TG1, no, sorry for that, for this Italian sneaking. But anyhow, in the national television, you were there interviewed by the, the, by the broadcaster. And behind you on the wall, there was yeah. the reply called the challenge poster. And we were amazed out of it <laughs> because it was, was the, cool. the greatest connection ever. Uh, of course, uh, reply challenge is one of the best uh, thing that I give to my students. Challenge is one of the most important uh, matters, so they are not in going bored in uh, in studying. Studying is funny, I think. That that's a great payoff. I would I, we can make even some kind of T-shirts for it. Studying is funny. We, we, it would work for sure. Thank you, Carlo, for joining us for today. We'll be back to you shortly in order to talk a bit about, again, the value of the, let me say, the challenge-based learning or something that you yeah. can share as your unique experience with all of us. I'm ending the loop with, I guess, the, yeah, uh, um, uh, a couple of different opinions from uh, uh, other people which are, I would start from Bardot, which is a pro eSport athlete. Valorant is the game and uh, uh, he is part of the Reply Totem team. You're wearing the beautiful jersey, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Reply Totem, for who doesn't know it, is uh, the, the, a, new, uh, yeah, a new initiative made by Reply together with the Totem Esports team of uh, athletes. And uh, uh, you are there, you are here together with us, even because you're a passionate coder and a master in computer science. So, yes. I mean, o overlapping the esports and the coding. Yeah, definitely. Like, I, this is also amazing. I'm almost regretting not taking part in the challenge, but hey, I'm happy that I'm somehow part of it. So thank you for sure, inviting sure. me and welcome, everyone. Yeah, thank you for your time, Bardot. It's, uh, uh, again, a pleasure. We see that people already say, I play Valorant too. Yeah, but I guess not so good as Bardot <laughs> because he's a professional athlete. Out of, you don't know. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, but yeah, knows. then we... Yeah, who knows? Who knows that? Uh, um, you can follow, of course, the Reply Totem initiative by looking for uh, the, um, their social accounts in general. And Bardot is present on Twitch as well. Uh, it's a great initiative above all. And yeah, today we were happy about, you see, the overlapping of the two things, coding and, uh, and esports. Uh, let me finish, last but not least, in general, because Gabriele is a student in Udine about to uh, uh, get the degree. Ciao, Gabriele. Hi, everyone. Hi there. Nice to see you again because he is, a, I mean, he's a frequent flyer of our live streaming. And most of all, today you're about to play in the challenge. Actually, the only one here, all of uh, above all the panel, you are the only one who has to do something today, right? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Are you playing not alone, of course? Where is no, your team? Uh, uh, where is your the, the others in your team? Where are they based? Uh, also in Udine. Also in Udine, but, your city. Yeah, okay, but uh, but we we do together in an online mode. All right, of course. First time in the code challenge, or you already played? No, it? Second one. The last the last second year one. I played one. How was last year? Where you placed yourself? Uh, it was enjoy. I, I enjoy so much the the challenge, but uh, it it goes uh, not so well. And this year, this year, I, yeah, yeah, for sure. 
Okay, okay. Yeah, that, that's something that I would say we, we can... Uh, 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 we, we can point out that the level is hard, it's challenging uh, because of the word in general, and that's something we uh, trying to stress. It's very uh, demanding for us to, uh, to try to show your talent. So don't, don't be shy in general, do your best in order to perform at the Code Challenge, both the Standard and the Teen Edition, and uh, we'll do, uh, I mean, yeah, you will do your best in order to, uh, to be on, in, on top of the two leaderboards. We see the comments already coming in. Uh, everything is live from challenges.reply.com is four o'clock and in about 29 minutes the problem statement will be revealed and published on challenges.reply.com as well. You see the war room here together with us, the guys working in order to finalize everything on the platform and ready to share uh, again the problem statement for both the standard and the team edition. Right now, uh, thanks again to all the panel involved today, please feel free to intervene, open up your mic whenever uh, you feel the need to, to share something, please. I'll be back to all of you in a moment, anyhow, because right now there is something kind of relevant to say. And so to announce the stats and how many people register for the challenge and, uh, and share with you everything that is relevant and important. The, um, so I'm sharing the slides here. You will see the stats. How many people registered this year? Well, we grow again, and this is the biggest code challenge ever with 22 more, actually, than 22 thousand registration register people into the platform that have started and open up the registration at the beginning of February and in about 40 days or whatever we collected those huge amount of registration there is a great achievement thanks to all of you of course because you connected and registered in these uh, uh, challenge from all over the world we are about to see how many uh, countries from how many countries you see here some different stats most of all, we have a lot of students, of course, because of the teen edition. Most of all, more than 80% of the registrations are coming from the students' world. And so, of course, from people aged from 14 to 24 years old. But then you see that we have people even in other uh, range. Uh, another important stat is the number of teams we are talking about. We reached uh, um, uh, more than 3,124 teams in the standard edition and 1,923 teams in the teen edition. You know the difference between the two, of course, teen edition uh, and, uh, are mostly for the teenagers, of course, for young coders, and then the standard edition that is uh, the, um, up to the professional and the coders aged for more than 16 years old. You can choose between the two among, again, uh, the rules, so you have to stay into your age in order to register. Uh, those are two different kind of problems. I would like to involve maybe Gaspare, if you'd like. Uh, I will ask you to... I mean, briefly describe the main difference between the teen and the standard. Gaspar, yes. would you like to do so? So, the, the standard edition, you are required to solve one optimization problem. Uh, solve is not the correct terms because uh, as an optimization problem, you have to find the best solution among the other teams. So, your goal is to optimize uh, the solution of different scenario, but we, uh, we present you with the problem statements. So there is not ex an exact solution. You have something to analyze to improve uh, uh, during uh, all the hours of the challenge. And for the team edition, you will have uh, five different problems with exact solution. And uh, you have to write uh, an algorithm for each of them to solve the levels uh, of each of them. So the main difference is that the team edition uh, there are problems with exact solution, and for the standard edition, you will have to optimize uh, the problem. Sure, thank you. Yeah, I guess that, I mean, it was all clear for the people, but maybe even people, uh, we might have, we, st we definitely have people not registered for the challenge who's following us. So they, it's always relevant to underline the difference between the two competitions that are working together. Let me say that those numbers, the 22,000 registered people, gives us the gr a great news to share that you may be already aware of. We reached, starting from 2018, more than 100,000 registration on challenges.reply.com, more than 100,000 people who physically register on the platform in order to play with us on coding, cybersecurity, investment, and digital creativity from the beginning of this great adventure that was in 2018. So thank you very much, another great achievement, and we'll continue in doing this together with you in growing in this great community.
I have to move fast in order to give you some other news. Those are the, um, yeah, you see in the map uh, some of the, count the countries where most of the people are coming from, the registrations are coming from, but then we have participants from more than 95 countries, another great number to share. So we hope that you, uh, yeah, I mean, why not again share with us on the chat where are you connecting from just to see how wide is this competition again with members from all over the world. Uh, the timeline that I have to remind you is that in about, again, 25 something minutes, the problem statement will be released and you can download it and read everything on challenges.reply.com from your own challenge page. And uh, there you will start in four hours. You will have, uh, of course, to upload your solution, your submissions and see yourself on the leaderboard to see how you rank yourself. Uh, but at eight o'clock, so 30 minutes before the deadline, the leaderboard will be frozen. So suspense, you will not know who is going there. And I see, yeah, I'm happy to see hello from Greece and Finland and many other countries, India, of course. Hello, you all guys, welcome on board. The, um, again, the leaderboard will be frozen at eight o'clock and then you will face the, the, late, the, late, the lightest, sorry, 30 minutes on, with the leaderboard just frozen and at 8.30 the temporary leaderboard will be out. It will be temporary because within 10 days we will verify everything with the top three teams on both the teen and the starter edition in order to announce officially the winners of the Reply Code Challenge 2021. I'm moving fast again to show you what you already know, I guess, which, which are the awards for both the standard and the teen edition. You see the MacBook Pro, the Mac Mini and the AirPods Pro for the top three teams on the standard edition for each member of the team uh, ranked as first, second and third. So great awards on that side for the standard, but great awards for the teen edition too. 5,000 euro to be split, split among the team members in the first place, 2,000 for the second place and third, uh, and 1,000 for the third place. So you see here the podium, something you are, of course, already aware of, but worth it to remember it all over again. Uh, yeah, you see something here that is funny. We have out of the 1,000 teams, you see, you have here uh, some of the best team names uh, that are all, all the years are making half lovely. Uh, it's uh, Hello World, American Samurai, Bug Hunters, uh, I guess that Program Panda or Spaghetti Coders, or I, I, it seems like uh, recurrent names there. Uh, we just selected some of the uh, funniest one. Uh, why not share with us your battle name, your team name in the chat to have some fun uh, out of it. Error 404, that is something you are not wishing yourself for the challenge, I guess. Uh, you see, um, yeah, I mean, I would ask Gabriele, are you hearing me? Which is your team name? Uh, the name is Barabasi Team. It came from a, a network science uh, uh, professor. Yeah, okay, stop, like... stop there. Stop there. You, you, you name yourself with the name of your teacher, high school or you? No, 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 no. It's a, it's a, fam a, fam a famous one. That, it's a famous uh, one. Oh, sorry, yeah, I missed yeah. it. Okay, my bad. Okay, so you, you name yourself with the name of a uh, uh, well-known uh, yeah. yeah, name of a professor. Okay, so I don't know, maybe Carlo, can, can you hear me, Carlo Mazzone? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, do you have students who name themselves with, and participate into the challenge with your name? I mean, kind of no. Carlo Mazzone's <laughs> no, team, no, no, favorite no. teacher? No. no, it's not happening. I have this. Oh. I have this. You, you, have the, you have the award. <laughs> Okay, that's a great achievement as well. <laughs> All right. The, um, okay, so we are just making fun of some of the uh, best team names registered for the Reply Code Challenge. I would uh, uh, move on with the uh, following part of this presentation. Yeah, we have another funny thing. Uh, we know that coders are not that... I mean, I would ask you if you agree with this sentence or not, but coders are not that the kind of most social people or uh, might be a bit shy on social media as well, but we definitely want your participation in this, which is the Reply Code Challenge Social Battle. We created a dedicated uh, Instagram filter. But Marco, disagree. maybe you want to say something. Yes, disagree in full with your, <laughs> with your sentence. Okay. And okay. I hope that all the, all, all the challengers will uh, show you that they are not shy at all. 
is a different. Okay, okay. I, I completely accept the challenge here. I, I got it, definitely. So, guys, you see, uh, Marco is saying that you are not shy, so we wait for you. Uh, open your uh, Instagram account. You can look for reply challenges account. Looking for the code challenge Instagram filter that is asking you to reveal your coding soul. You might be the alien, the evil coder. Uh, I mean, there are many, many other different possibilities and profiles. Take a shot with the Instagram filter on and tag again the reply challenges account. If you'll be the funniest, uh, we will decide it, okay, editorial way. If you'll be the funniest in sharing your pick uh, during the challenge, so in the next four hours till tonight, and tagging reply challenges from a public profile, I am about to show you the prize. We will send you the beautiful reply skateboard, original branded, let me show it a bit, you see? Working, no code required, something analogic but beautiful. And this is the prize for the person that will be the, will be, uh, the funniest one in sharing his Instagram filter pick by tagging reply challenges on Instagram. So guys, don't waste your time. You still have 20, yeah, 80 minutes before the challenge to start. And there will be a way, I mean, even for the next four hours, but then the problem statement will be something uh, that will require some time for you. So use your time wisely. You can, be, you can win one reply branded skateboard if you tag yourself on Instagram with the filter. Reply challenges is the profile. I guess I kind of finish the presentation, but yes, it gives my another hint that is by visiting challenges.reply.com, you can discover many of the stories of the challenges, named challenges originals, some of the stories of the cold challenge as well, and you can see the, the interview we made to Professor Carlo Mazzone as well. Uh, it, it, there is a long and very interesting interview there uh, made together with Carlo, and I would definitely suggest you to take a look at it uh, in order to discover again how, 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 which kind of passion required in order to be uh, a teacher um, today. I mean, in general, that's of course something worthy to remind. That's everything on, on my side, and I will involve again uh, uh, the panel of speakers together with me right now, uh, because uh, uh, we uh, already uh, presented together with you uh, the, um, uh, the people together with us from Inuit, Roberto Susinno and Giampiero Lopes, and I would be, uh, I would involve you in the presentation of something relevant for the challenge because all the people are curious about the problem statement. For the standard edition, this time we're talking about something um, unique, new in general, which is the 5G topic. Uh, I would start from Roberto before, asking you uh, a bit more about the collaboration from Inuit and, and, and Reply, what that drives you in accepting the collaboration this year in being together with us today. Uh, Rico, let me, um, let me pass the, the um, let me uh, be Giampiero to be the first one, just because uh, yeah, sure. Sure, our, sure, sure, no problem. Our, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, no problem, of course. Giampiero, you're, you're, I will, I will you're be the first, tour. the first speaker <laughs> from England. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, I, I will try to introduce you, all the, the peoples that uh, are connected in this uh, live streaming, uh, into the of magic course. world of the 5G, of the next generation. Yeah. Uh, we can affirm that the 5G technology is a breakthrough. The next generation of telecoms networks uh, has started hitting the market uh, end of 2080 and will continue to expand worldwide. Uh, beyond speed improvement, uh, the technology is uh, expected to unleash a massive 5G IoT ecosystem where networks can serve communication needs for billions of connected devices with the right trade-off between speed, latency, and cost. This makes sense if you think about what 5G has to offer. The 5G technology is driven by eight specifications, up to 10 gigabytes per second data rate, which is equal more or less from 10 to 100 times speed improvement over 4G and 4.5G networks. Wow. Up to one millisecond of latency. This is the target of the latency of the 5G network. 
1,000 times bandwidth per unit area, up 100 times to the number of connected devices per unit area compared with the 4G LTE. 19, oh, we are talking about a great improvement. A great, very great improvement. Uh, 19.999 percentage of avail availability. You can, uh, you can think that the mission critical services uh, is very, very important for this technology. You, we, can, uh, we can drive the, over the wireless uh, network uh, the 100% of coverage, 90% of reduction network energy usage, up to 10 years battery life for low power IoT device. Uh, this is a, a large, massive number numbers that uh, uh, describe the, the, the 5G network. But uh, uh, let's ask ourselves, how fast is 5G? 5G speed tops out at 10 gigabytes uh, Per second, we are, I have say you 5G is from 10 to 100 times faster than what you can get with 4G actually. The network, uh, sure. what makes 5G faster? Uh, according uh, to communication principles, the shorter the frequency, the larger the bandwidth. Uh, we, uh, we will use uh, into the, the 5G networks. Uh, uh, the shorter frequencies, the millimeter waves uh, for 5G networks uh, is why 5G can faster. This I-band 5G spectrum provides uh, the expected boost uh, not uh, only in speed, uh, but also in capacity, low latency and quality. Moreover, 5 technology offers on extremely low latency rate. The delay between between the sending and receiving information from a 200 millisecond for 4G, we go down to one millisecond with 5G. A millisecond is one over 100 of a second. The average reaction time, you think that the average reaction of time for humans to a visual stimulus is 250 mill milliseconds or depending a by the human second. i guess and the human a very <laughs> <laughs> not all of the, the, exactly. the same For, normally normally people normally, are normally. Kept at around 119 200 millisecond with proper training imagine now that you can could react 250 times faster than you. Imagine it could also respond to hundreds of incoming information and can also communicate its reactions back to other vehicles and road signals all within milliseconds. This That's is... is yeah. Yeah, so sorry for interrupting. I was saying this no. enables a lot of scenario, I guess, exactly. a lot of new possibility. Exactly. At 60 mph, 100 kilometers per hour, a tower, the reaction distance for a normal person is about 33 hertz, about 30 meters before you pull on the brakes. With yeah. a one millisecond reaction time, the car would only have rolled a bit more than one inch, less than wow. three centimeters. This is wow. fantastic. Yeah, yeah. The, so the, we will. Uh, can... Yeah, sorry, Giampiero, finish. This this scenario is very targeted to the uh, vehicle to everything, vehicle to vehicle, uh, vehicle to infrastructure, the driveless uh, uh, cars uh, will be a reality in the future with this uh, network. Sure, sure. The, 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 the explanation you made, and thank you very much for that, uh, is, uh, uh, I mean, something that I hope that the people already take note out of it, because it's something that is enabling the code challenge this year about the standard edition, because we are talking about, uh, let me say that we are not spoiling anything, but uh, it, it will be about 5G, and that's something you have to uh, think about in the realization of your algorithm in order to solve the problem statement. 
Uh, and so that's all over again. The presence of Vinuit together with us this year is not even just a matter of collaboration among two companies, but a matter of competencies and knowledge put together into the realization of the problem statement. So thank exactly. you again, Gian Piero. And uh, I would involve Roberto if you agree as well. Yeah, yeah, of uh, course, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Uh, um, let me, first of all, uh, good afternoon and welcome everyone. Uh, I will give you, a, as told by Giampiero, will give you a brief introduction about the technology that will be enabled by a pervasive introduction and adoption of 5G networks, despite of the fact for most of you, there will be very well known scenarios. But um, first of all, just uh, uh, let me talk about self-driving cars. As far as level five autonomous driving capabilities are real, are right here, right now. But the autonomous vehicle requires near zero latency, as told by Giampiero networks, to be connected to each other, uh, to the positioning, sure. to the alert, to the emergency, to management systems. Without those networks, there won't be any real adoption of the technology itself. Then uh, let me spend some time on virtual reality, augmented reality scenarios. Uh, there's a, a recent statement of a system on chip maker, Qualcomm, that says that for a cloud-based server, to provide a reliable, a believable, a real-time sensory environment to a wireless user, the connection between the servers and the user may need to supply as much as five gigabits per second of bandwidth. Moreover, the computer-intensive nature of the augmented reality workload requires moving the workload itself to the edge of the networks. So it's obvious that augmented and virtual reality is far better Sweden in a small cell environment. Then I want to talk about uh, talking about moving to the edge. It's unavoidable, unavoidable talking about cloud computing. As far sure, 5G, sure. 5G tech offered the potential for distributing cloud computing services closer, much closer to the user than most of AWS, GCP, Microsoft Azure, hyperscale data centers, and so on, making telcos real competitors with cloud providers, especially for critical workloads. Bringing processing power closer to the customer minimizes latency caused by the distance. And if the latency is cleared by the network, applications that currently run on a PC could run on a smaller device, even uh, cheaper than an average smartphone. Just two more things, uh, one, of which of course, one of which is, of course, is Internet of Things, uh, in which in a household with uh, low latency 5G connectivity, uh, with indoor coverage announced by the distributed antenna system provided maybe by him with the, today so-called smart devices uh, that are essentially smartphone class computers uh, could be replaced with dumb terminals that get their instruction from edge computing system so you know, you know kitchen appliance climate control systems health monitors can be easier to produce easier to control and the role played by Today, IoT apps uh, like Zigbee and so on can be cleared by 5G transmitters, acting so, like service apps for the, all the households in their coverage areas. And uh, one last scenario, but unfortunately yep, nowadays yep. not least, uh, one uh, important scenario is healthcare. And uh, healthcare, of course. Uh, uh, of course, but unfortunately it's something nowadays. Something we all well know right now. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, the availability of low latency connectivity, for example, in rural areas, can be a real revolution for critical treatment. A patient in small town will no, will no longer be forced to relocate in bigger cities just to receive the, the level of care they deserve. Uh, a recent trials in Mississippi pro is proving that 5G connectivity enables caregivers uh, in remote areas to receive real-time instruction and support uh, for the finest surgeon all over the world, wherever they may be relocated. So we see already the, the first obvious. experiments out yeah. of it. The, the, yeah. the surgeon working from San Francisco to Berlin, I guess it was the yeah. example with, with zero latency. With zero uh, latency during the operation. So wow, that's, that's too much great. for sure. Let me wish you good luck for your challenge and thank you very much indeed for your attention. Thank you very much, uh, both of you, Roberto and Giampiero, the Inuit contribution telecommunication company together with us this year for the Reply Code Challenge is again a matter of sharing passion about technology and innovation and coding. Uh, and so your, uh, it's a value added contribution, not, only a not a, just a matter of bringing two brands together. So thank you very much. We are so pleased to have you together with us. I would be uh, back to the coach of the Code Masters team uh, Marco, you, you can hear me, I guess, even because we are not that far one from the other. Yes. Uh,
four minutes before the code challenge uh, would you like to comment about the 5g yes and, and yes it was just to try to connect in the dots uh, and the f and to tell to our uh, contenders that the topic of the of the problem today is all related to 5g and in particular all that uh, our guests said uh, will be possible if uh, we will be able to deploy the right infrastructure for the 5G. And the topic of the problem is exactly this one. So helping, uh, let me say, reply to help Inuit to do a right uh, uh, deployment of the antennas. All right. The, uh, good luck, of course. We are all together in wishing uh, good luck to all the players about to, to play together. Uh, we talked a lot about the standard edition, but why not to move to the teen edition as well? So I would involve uh, again uh, uh, Professor Mazzone, if uh, still with us. I hope so. Uh, the, uh, you, Carlo, can you hear you. us? Hi there. Yeah, the, of course. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not asking, of course, if your students are this year together with us in the code challenge. I don't know uh, about uh, the... No, no, no. They are uh, with us. I've uh, tried okay. to and engage so, them. Uh, there are, I think, uh, about 10 of them uh, trying okay, to... Okay. That's, that's great to know because I was asking because I know that right now schools have some bigger problem or a bigger issue that are involved in. Uh, yeah, but then yeah. I, I hope yeah, that course. somehow this initiative, the Reply Code Challenge, even because of the number of students registered, is something different that is worthy uh, for, I mean, yeah, and a nice occasion to do something different yeah. and competing together with others all over the world. I would ask you, uh, in the meanwhile, there are just three minutes before the releasement of the problem statement, uh, uh, what about uh, your experience as a teacher, one of the top 10 in the, in the ranking of worldwide teachers? What yeah. is your uh, experience out of it? How your students react in something as a code uh, challenge? I think that um, challenge uh, uh, can mix two of the most important ingredients uh, of uh, all we do. That is fun and hard work. Because uh, uh, study uh, could be funny, but it's uh, an hard work to do, to realize. Uh, being uh, a programmer, a developer, as we say, uh, managing computer uh, um, lang um, uh, pro language for uh, uh, the programmer, uh, uh, to program uh, computer is an hard work. Uh, only using a great passion and funny, uh, you can do something uh, really important. Um, challenge can uh, give another important thing that is uh, the interaction uh, with others. Uh, this is sure. the sure. most important uh, think you can do to try to assess your uh, uh, skills uh, and the uh, challenge is uh, like uh, i think uh, uh, as imp is important as uh, an academic grade or a school grade uh, you can give an instant uh, uh, assessment and a grade of your skills uh, and um, challenge is yeah. uh, the last uh, but not the least uh, is that uh, you can lose uh, and you could be a loser, but you win anyway, because you go a step um, uh, up, an upward step, because uh, you, uh, the most important is to watch inside, uh, to uh, learn a bit, uh, a bit on. They say experience is what you get when you don't get what you want so you might not get the award but then you get the experience and most of all you yeah. get the certification because that's something worthy to remind again all the people participating to the challenge will get the certification out of their presence into the game today and i can officially say that game is on because the problem statement has been released thank you we see it right now problems released so i say that at least gabriele together with us had to start working on the problem statement good luck man of course thank to you, you thank to you. your team and to all the others uh, uh, all the other team connecting together with us right now problems are out and right now we're starting four hours of time in order to solve them and to propose your solution good luck to all the players uh, together with Thank us you. right now
It's 4.30 uh, Europe COPN time. Ciao, Gabriele. Goodbye. You can disconnect, no problem. Um, and uh, we are, of course, we will still be here together with you for a few minutes more in order to, um, to be, again, to, 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 to comment a bit and to uh, receive all of your questions coming on the uh, live streaming chat, but differently, you can tag the Codemasters team in order to ask uh, uh, precisely something about uh, the problem statement maybe looking for some help again i would know i would ask scott maybe uh, this time is your first time together with us scott in the in the code masters team but what about if people are asking for help would you would you suggest something give the, the right suggestion the right tip or no way code masters will not help you uh, I've had some people try and weasel their way in from uh, <laughs> some friends of mine who are participating in the challenge, but I've told them I'm not telling them anything. Oh, come on. You're real? No, no help at all? No help. No help. All right. All right. You're right in doing that, of course. I'm, I'm not even able to help any one of them, so I'm not, <laughs> I would not be uh, collaborative in this perspective. Uh, thank you again to all the Codemasters, Scott and Gaspar and Marco are just together with us, but in, in a few minutes they will disconnect in order to follow the problem statement and the job of all the teams involved. You see thousands of teams all together right now playing about it, uh, but this gives me the assist to involve again uh, Bardot uh, and, and uh, ask you, you mean, there is a difference of course between esports and, and in competitive programming, that is what are we facing right now, but you know, somehow at the beginning, once the countdown is over and you start playing, maybe the feeling is not that different, right? Yes, that, that was exactly what I was thinking about. This feels exactly like when you're about to start a LAN tournament or any kind of tournament, even online, like it's got the same kind of feeling. So uh, yeah, I would say, you know, esports are very inclusive. There's not really a clear definition of what an esport is. So I guess you could consider sure. maybe competitive programming to be an esport. Why not? You know? Yeah, so, I guess that on Twitch, on Twitch, there are people coding live, right? I guess streaming lots coding. Lots of people, yes. Lots of streamers exactly. like are just programmers basically and they and they you know code live interact with the chat and and that's great and there's a lot of overlap between gaming and and you know computer science i was reading the chat now you know i'm, I'm used to it because i also stream and i've seen a lot yeah, of yeah, gamers sure. so it's great that you know computer science competitive uh, programming has so much overlap with gaming and esports it's just it's so great to see you 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 are both of them gamer and programmer what is the, the what, what do you prefer? Let me ask. <laughs> mm, <laughs> that's a, that's a answer, hard maybe. question. Yeah, <laughs> it's almost a political question. I don't know. Let's say 50 50. I like them both. 50 /50, I need 50, them both in my life. Yes. Okay. Okay. But then I, I see you yesterday on Twitch. You were streaming your training uh, in, uh, in, in, in. You please repeat it because I'm not able to repeat it. Yeah. What, what so, you were doing yesterday in the night? <laughs> yeah, I play Valorant, but I train with a software called Kovax. So I was practicing my aim through that software called Kovax. You know, shooting some dots, and that's a synthetic benchmark to improve your scores. So it's a very, it's wow. a very, you know. Uh, technical way of approaching training that we gamers uh, have started doing lately. So it's very close to like studying, you know, practicing synthetic problems to improve your programming skills. I guess there's some kind of dualism there and you could probably draw some kind of conclusions. I don't know, but it's very similar. And that I was always thing, yeah. Yeah, I do completely agree. And it was, uh, I mean, again, I will suggest to all the people who want to, 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 to know about, more about it, they can c get in touch with the Reply Totem team, of course, on social media with all the profiles on Instagram, Twitter, and so on. And why not to see Bardot's training in, these, uh, uh, and, and in your games uh, uh, by looking for you on Twitch uh, and your streaming activities. Uh, good luck, of course, for everything. You. Are you about to play some big tournament upcoming? And uh, not not in the immediate future, but there will okay. be definitely. There will be definitely in, in the future. All right. Um, thank you very much for being today uh, with us. We are uh, live again for the reply code challenge for the people who might be connected with us in a matter of minutes. Uh, um, uh, the challenge is live on challenges.reply.com. The problem statement has been released five minutes ago, both on the standard and the teen edition. You see, we have more than 22,000 registration on the platform, uh, about 2,000 teams for the teen edition. And uh, let me check, yeah, 3,000 teams for the standard edition as well. 
and uh, uh, everyone is playing right now on their problem statement. I don't know if we already have some comments on the release of the uh, of the problems. I would involve Gaspare maybe. Gaspar, you're already busy with tons of stuff to do. <laughs> you, so we are looking you, you at the platform right now. You, I'm looking at the whiteboard behind you. There is no solution there, right? It's clear. Okay, that is neat. clear. Yes. Okay, okay, that's whoo, whoo. just before the live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and uh, what about the comments right now? They are silent, I guess, or working. But someone on already scored some points, so we are happy to see that everything is working clear. Yeah, they they are trying. Let me say. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. What 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 is the right now? What is if you were in the team two? I mean, three years ago. What what were you doing right now? Just face palm and reading the problem statement, or yes. what you were uh, doing? I load all the problem statements and I read with my teammates. So. Okay, connected of course on remote all over the world. Yes. <laughs> All right. So good luck to all the players right now facing the, the release of the problem statement. We mentioned Marco, please. Yes. Uh, at the beginning, I've seen uh, some comments. Uh, I don't remember the name of the guy uh, saying that uh, his level is too low to taking part in this uh, in this challenge. So my suggestion to him is uh, not to be shy and to try but i think it's worth to mention that we uh, released enrico on our website uh, a sort of uh, guide on how to get uh, acquainted to this kind of uh, challenges and uh, way of programming and perhaps gaspare could uh, elaborate on it a little bit since uh, he he did uh, the most of the work sure sure that, that is a uh, uh Gaspar, would you like to, to comment the, the, the learning section and the, the sandbox where we received the tons of submission uh, from, uh, from all the players, I mean, from many players before, I mean, in, during the campaign of the Code Challenge registration? Yes, uh, in February, we launched this initiative, uh, the, the, the Train and Win program, where we uh, represent the sandboxes of the previous uh, year of the, of the teen edition. And we give the opportunity to the, to the students to uh, try to solve uh, the real challenges and the real problem of the previous, uh, previous edition and uh, uh, to improve uh, the preparation for the real challenge of today, we have created a new section, which is the learning section, where uh, we have put uh, uh, new articles where uh, uh, you can find uh, a snippet of codes, uh, idea, algorithm, uh, and all you need to, to, to know about today and how to get ready for the, for the challenges. Yeah, so uh, that, that's something worthy again to remind about the walk challenge.reply.com initiative design. You can, uh, uh, you can discover and get uh, out of the, all the learning materials, even in not, not only in the coding section. Uh, everything that might be uh, interesting and relevant for your lifelong learning journey. Uh, and this gives me another assist that is to remind you that right after, I mean, we already opened the registration to the sustainable investment challenge that uh, will happen next to the code one in April. So please, again, if you are interested, not only in coding, but even in sustainable investment, in finance in general, you can register and experiment and playing together with us a whole new kind of challenge uh, in the near future. Then again, it will follow the creative and the cybersecurity and who knows how many uh, how many more? The, uh, okay, so right now the problems are out, so we avoid any risk of spoiler. I guess maybe, Gaspar, your, uh, your microphone is still open, but it would involve uh, Roberto and Giampiero from Inuit again, uh, because right now, without any risk of spoiling anything, uh, we, we have already published the problem about 5G, the scenario, and so on. Uh, are you curious about uh, the, the solution, let me say, the algorithm that the, this optimization problem will be released? Where you kind of, uh, do you, are you might be uh, wishing for some new kind of ideas that might have be out of it? Or, uh, I don't know, your, your feelings? For sure, are very interested in the solution that will be, will be provided. Just because uh, uh, as a tower operator, uh, the, the algorithm uh, uh, affects uh, very uh, widely the uh, the positioning of the antennas itself, and uh, an efficient solution in positioning the antenna 
will be for us a, a significant uh, um, saving of money, saving of uh, um, sure, sure. acquisition, acquisition in terms of uh, uh, landscapes and um, rights to put the antenna on the rooftops and so on. So we are very, very interested in the, the efficiency of the solution. And also the quality of the signal, because uh, minimize the interference uh, between the, the, the single station, each other, and uh, the, the users can, uh, can use uh, the, the, the technology of the 5G networks uh, better uh, in all cases. Yeah, the, uh, all right. So, of course, we are together uh, with, uh, with Inuit, uh, with you, Giampiero, and, and Roberto, in looking forward for the solutions submitted by the players. We, as Gaspar said, already seen some solutions uh, upcoming. I mean, uh, just to test maybe what's going on. Of course, it will be a matter of uh, the solutions submitted at the end of those four hours of challenges. We remind you all over again that at 8 o'clock the leaderboard will be, fro will be frozen so you will not discover who's be on top of the leaderboard and we will release at the end, at the deadline of the code challenge at 8.30 tonight uh, the temporary leaderboard because then of course on both the standard and the teen edition we will have to uh, verify your solution in order to officially announce you as the winner, as the top three teams on the podium. So right now, I guess that all the people are focused on the problems and, and start trying to, and starting trying to, to submit their solution. Uh, so we don't want again to, to waste your time. I don't know if there are any, any questions worthy to share. Uh, I see, yeah, right now the, the control room working uh, to check if everything is going on. Hi guys, hope you are doing well. And uh, uh, the, um, yeah, I see that there were a question about which kind of program language they should use. I guess that the, the answer might be, uh, Scott, you'd like to, I guess that the, the answer is kind of everything, every kind yeah. of program language is allowed. Mm -hmm. Anyone you want to use. Yeah, anyone. Okay, right. The, the, your preferred one, may I ask? What, what you, would you use? Which language um, would you use? My preferred language right now is Rust. It's a systems programming language, so it's really fast and it's safe, but it's not the easiest to write with. So for wow. one like this, I would probably go for something like C Sharp where it's a little easier to prototype and get going. All fast. right. OK, so f flash from all the people in the panel. Which programming language would you pick? C Sharp. C Sharp is Roberto. Giampiero, are you a coder, would you, or? Every language. Everyone is good. OK, I would go Gasp. I, I, I would keep Gasp. Okay, let's do let's... <laughs> <laughs> C++, okay, that's fine. Uh, Professor Carlo Mazzone, your pick. Uh, C++, uh, Java, and Python to do uh, faster things. All of that. I, I would again suggest all the, the, the reader, all the, the challengers to read the, the interview we made to Carlo because he's a great passion about, a nerd, definitely a nerd, and a, yeah. a, 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 a love in passion with coding. Uh, Marco. C Sharp is my first love, but I'm uh, getting acquainted with Python in the last year, and uh, I think Python is very good for this kind of uh, of challenges because it's very easy to to do to do. Let me say to manage the data structure in a very easy way. Yeah, I end the loop with uh, Bardos. Your your turn. So I didn't I didn't read the problem statement yet, of course, but um, for prototype speed, I would go Python with some kind of maybe just in time compiler like Numba or Cython, those kind of things. You know, if you need speed or C plus plus, if you need pure speed, those are the two that I would pick. All right, all right, thank you. The, uh, so you see that among uh, all of us, I can't answer, of course, but in general, among just of us in the panel, we uh, you would uh, you have different opinions and, and a wide variety of different. Uh, uh, programming languages. We reach uh, for 45 minutes. I guess we have to release at least Gaspar and maybe even Scott because you are already involved in the Codemaster job right now. Uh, but let me say that 
most of what we have to share together with the community of players today has been done. So thank you very much to the whole panel of people that were together with me uh, today in releasing the problem statement, in announcing the, the start of the Reply Code Challenge 2021. We remind these more than 22,000 registrations on the platform for this code challenge, thousands of teams both competing in the teen edition and the starter edition. Right now, the game is on. We, you will have uh, slightly less than four hours because at 8.30, there will be the deadline for this competition. And uh, we'll be back from eight o'clock here in the live streaming all over again in order to check the status of the last 30 minutes, to check the leaderboard, to see where we were going, where we will go, and uh, of course to involve all of you in the last hour of uh, this incredible adventure, which is the Reply Code Challenge 2021. Let me say thanks uh, to all of you guys together with me. I will start again the, the round of uh, uh, greetings from uh, uh, Roberto Susino and Giampiero Lopes from Inuit. Thank, thank you, you very much, guys. Time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. It's been a pleasure to have uh, uh, with us you all today. And thanks to Inuit, of course, in collaborating with us for the realization of the Reply Code Challenge. Uh, we'll get in touch later, let me say, okay, for the let's... results of the challenge. Yeah. Yes. Uh, thank you. Uh, of course, I would say uh, see you later to Marco, Gaspar and Scott, a part of the Reply Code Master team. Uh, enjoy the, the, the next hours of work uh, for the realization of the challenge. Thank you very much, Professor Carlo Mazzone from Benevento. Uh, again, oh. it has been a pleasure, Carlo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you from me. Uh, of course, you are giving me the opportunity to take out of the world uh, the school, the world of school that is uh, the most important of our society. So we have to make our school coming out uh, from the walls, from the, the houses, and go to the home of our hearts. We, we, I, I definitely agree with you, Carlo, and every time you are, uh, of course, welcome into the Reply Challenge world uh, because of the passion you already share together with all of us. Thank you very much, Carlo, and good luck. Uh, stay strong and safe, of course, you and all, uh, your, all of your students uh, in your school. And uh, I would finish with Bardo, it's a part of the Reply Totem Team Esports Athletes. Thank you very much, man, for your presence today here. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me here. And if I can say one last thing as a gamer, Please. I will say GLHF, which is something you say before a tournament sure. starts, which is good <laughs> luck and have fun. So good luck and fun, everyone. Fun. And so thank you again. Yeah, thank you to you for your kind presence with us today and esports and a passion coder uh, together in the same experience and share together with the others. Good luck and have fun, all of you guys. Again, we'll be back at 8 o'clock uh, Central European time, back with the live streaming. The challenge is on and it will end in less than four hours. So again, I would just say good luck to all of you uh, and good luck to the Codemasters, the Reply Codemasters right now following the process of the challenge already on. Good luck to all the repliers again that are playing on a separate leaderboard from all the other students and coders worldwide. Again, good luck all of you. Uh, that's all. We'll be back at 8 o'clock. Thank you very much, guys. Bye and good luck. I'm OMW. OMW. On my way to you. Good at what I do. I'm OMW.
I'm 
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 We are back for our live streaming. It's 8 o'clock sharp uh, p.m. in the evening live. It's Enrico from the Reply Challenges team and we are live from uh, Turin as always Reply Headquarter. 
uh, you already seen together with me the war room, the reply challenges team working in order to deliver everything happening in the challenge and mostly answering all uh, of the question coming in from uh, the, you, the challenges people, the community of people right now playing at the reply called challenge 2021. We again stressing the big numbers we achieved this year, more than 22,000 registrations on the platform. Almost 2,000 team in the teen edition and more than 3,000 team in the standard one. And it's a pleasure all over again to say, yeah, thanks to all of you, the community of coders passionate in coding, playing together with us since uh, four, uh, four and a half, uh, yeah, uh, half, 30 minutes after four o'clock this afternoon. We are approaching the, uh, at the end, yes, the last uh, uh, 30 minutes of our challenge today. And uh, as you know, the leaderboard in, the, in both the standard and the teen edition, even if slightly different uh, is the process, but anyhow, right now the two leaderboards uh, are frozen, and so nobody can uh, know who, who will be on top in the podium of both the two uh, editions, the standard and the teen one in the reply code challenge. Together with me, yeah, let's do it immediately. I have the beautiful reply skateboard, you see it. Many people already trying to win it thanks to our social battle. Look for reply challenges on Instagram and you will, you might be one of, yeah, the winner of the beautiful reply skateboard if you are sharing your own, uh, your own post using the Instagram filter uh, to find out your coding soul available on the Instagram channel. Yeah, you see already scrolling the title behind me. Uh, but that's just, you know, the, the, the part out of the challenge right now, it's time to start talking about uh, the, the competition because, of course, we, we saw a, a lot of stuff happening and uh, I would like to involve again the Codemasters team together with me. They are uh, again live answering all the questions coming in from uh, the, the people playing. So I see appearing, yeah, the, uh, our beloved guys that uh, we are already uh, used to know because of the starting streaming this afternoon. So Marco, Gaspar, Scott, hello back you guys. All fine, just wave your hands. Yeah, kind of. Seems so, all right. And uh, Alessandro too, that is live from, uh, I don't know, Munich. Alessandro, ciao, welcome on board. Ciao. Would you yes. unmute? Yeah, I am live Hi there. from Munich. Munich in Germany, all right. So good yeah. to, to see you as well. Uh, you, you, you've been added, I mean, you're part of the Codemasters since the beginning, but actually uh, today you were in the backstage at the beginning and then you are live together with us. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I would stress this, you are connected with us right now, but still operating and answering question coming from uh, the people playing. I would, uh, yeah, start by this, I don't know, Scott, are, are you, uh, I, I, are you free right now? C can you talk uh, for a second? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seems so. Okay, okay. I, I would ask you uh, what, I mean, your feeling out of your first experience as a, a code master during the Reply Code Challenge competition. Have you experienced anything uh, new, wild, surprisingly, or, or, or I don't know, the, 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 the question coming from the challengers? Did you surprise you? Um, not as much as I would have thought. Uh, a lot of the questions seem to be pretty similar. Um, there okay. seems to be which, some which, uh, formatting which issues. Seems to be redundant. The, the biggest thing. Okay. Okay. We, 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 uh, uh, again, sorry. We, which were the question more? Uh, you know, the frequently asked question during your afternoon. The one that I've seen the most is issues with formatting. Um, seems like that's been tripping some people up. All right, so that's, I mean, kind of a uh, uh, job you're used to. The, I would move to Gaspare for the, uh, for the teen edition, maybe. Are you wired in, Gaspare, or, or, or you can? Yes. Hi, Enrico. Yes, you can. Okay. So it was a, a long day, so we are <laughs> near the... <laughs> I'm very tired of answering and uh, talking for a solution, uh, but I think I, it was I, funny for the participants. All right. There were, uh, you know, they were trying to get some help during the, the, the hours of the, during the competition right now. Yes, but it's hard to not spoil uh, uh, more of the problem because, uh, of course, that will ruin the challenge. And uh, uh, I try to answer the, the minimal amount of information uh, possible uh, to, to go on. Of course. For the, the of course. You, you, you are a demanding teacher, not the, yes. not the easiest one. <laughs> And uh, so, uh, okay, 
the um yeah sorry you were adding something yes we remember that there is time until the end of the challenge because these are the last minutes and right. in particular uh, five minutes ago we will have we have a jump in the leaderboard for the standard edition we have the Whoa. team uh, Olia come down who was the in the eighth position and now it's first one so compliments okay, so let, let Wait, wait a second, we will show yes. the leaderboard, even if frozen right now, so nothing is changing starting from 8 o'clock. Just gave us a second and, and the leaderboard uh, should appear from the control room. Yeah, okay, it's coming. That was the last okay. uh, public scoreboard. Exactly, okay, so at, at the situation at 8 o'clock. Yes, and the Olya Caldown was uh, in the 8th position during the last... Uh, uh, update of the platform and now it's first, so uh, I think it could be a nice uh, uh, challenge also for uh, Simplicissium and Swistack uh, who was uh, uh, playing during the challenge points by points uh, trying to update their solutions. Of course, we see that right now, so the first team is uh, from uh, Ukraine, most of uh, uh, yes. the... Yeah. Oh, oh, kind of all the, the, the members of the team that we have Poland and China on the top of the podium for the standard edition so far then you know that the, the situation might change for the last 30 minutes I would involve Marco again no, just to say that uh, and to highlight what uh, just Gaspar said about uh, that uh, the contenders still have uh, 23 minutes to finish because uh, since we have access to the back end of the platform uh, we already saw a change in the, in the podium of the standard edition. So they are continuing to, to, up, to, to upload the new solution and the, the, the score is changing. So keep focused. Sure, of course. The, the, um, uh, Marco, we were making the math before about the number of submissions uh, uh, um, versus, let me say, in comparison with the past year. We were around uh, the same numbers, right? A little bit more. I think we are more than 23,000 right now, some in the two edition, teen and standard. And the uh, last yes. year we, we did uh, 20,000, so. Okay. And we still have uh, 20 minutes. Exactly, exactly. So the numbers will increase a lot. The, we have a question right here, right here showed by, uh, shared sorry, by Snowy, which is asking, will there be special prize for most submissions? I'm not that sure that that's the way it works, but I don't know. You, uh, Alessandro, would you like to answer? Yeah, unfortunately, I will say no. <laughs> no, exactly. That, that was kind of yeah. the way I do my exam at university. I did it. I mean, there were some exams in which you try to do the most. I mean, it's not the quantity, but the quality, actually. Exactly. It, it's a nice try, but uh, yeah, we <laughs> reward the quality, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's a point. That's a point. Thanks for answering. The, uh, yeah, as well, if you have questions worthy to be shared or even just funny comments, or we, we are in love with your feedback, guys. So feel free to uh, comment on YouTube and Twitch, and we'll get your comment uh, together with us live. And of course, on the platform, if you want to talk with the Codemaster team, just use the platform to get in touch with the team. Marco? Yes, but perhaps just another uh, little uh, spoil on the Teen Edition as well, because uh, we see that uh, there are uh, some teams that uh, uploaded all the solution, but we know that none of uh, them has done everything right. So also to them, uh, let me say, use this last uh, 21 minutes to recheck everything, let me say in this way. Yeah, you, 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 you are saying something very, uh, very uh, critical, I would say important for the challenging team. So guys, uh, you, you got the idea out of it. I guess that we can share anyhow the, the, the leaderboard so far, right? Gaspar, yes. do, do you agree? Can, can we share the leaderboard? Yes. Yes, it's something we are allowed to even because it's public. So I say we are... It's public, so no problem here. Nothing bad, exactly. Sorry, just to check. You know, I don't want to be the one making mistakes. <laughs> and uh, uh, okay, yeah, so I see... Thank you to the control room, which is zooming a bit in. Uh, thank you. We have... Uh, uh, this is the um, uh, Teen Edition leaderboard so far right now. So the, you see the team, uh, the, on the top three teams on the podium, two of them, the first and the second are from are Chinese uh, and from China. And then we have the Korean flag there for the third one, if I'm right. 
Then a Brazilian team at fourth and a Russian team as fifth. The Max Foundation team that, if I'm right, already participated to the cybersecurity challenge past year. So those are frequent uh, uh, challengers for the uh, Reply Challenge universe. Marco? No, yes, just to share that uh, in this case, the, the frozen leaderboard uh, work, uh, works in a little bit different manner here. We don't show the score for the last input of each problem. So this is it then, and this is what, uh, what was I referring to, the fact that uh, perhaps not all the teams, uh, none of the teams have done uh, all these uh, final problems in the right way. Sure, sure. So, I mean, every minute counts uh, and the last uh, uh, 19 that we see right now are missing before the, the deadline, the end of the challenge, uh, are of course possibly the most important one because we may experience changes, last minute changes on the leaderboard that we repeat right now are uh, both frozen or somehow yeah, uh, not revealing the, the, the final one. I see a comment coming in from our friends Owen Williams, just saying we finished in 10 minutes, but we thought it would be unfair to submit. That's a, 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 that's a kind of a strategy, I guess. <laughs> the, they are playing, yeah, the, the, the way they, they like. The, um, <laughs> okay, uh, so last, uh, again, we are uh, running uh, uh, in the last minutes of the Reply Code Challenge 2021. Together with me, you see some of the people in the war room and the others connected to, uh, to, to monitor and to check what's happening on the platform. It, it, it has been, of course, a long afternoon and it will be a long night in order to, uh, to finalize all the job and to release uh, 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 right, uh, right after the end of the deadline for the code challenge, what has been uh, in the game. We, uh, we saw a lot of uh, competition in the leaderboard in the minutes before the, the freeze. Let me say, we, we saw a lot of changes with, again, uh, the, the teams surpassing one and the other for both the teen and the standard one. But it might be a moment even to, uh, let me say, to, to, to say hi to the repliers as well, to say, uh, we, we have uh, more than 400 repliers registered and playing right now on the uh, code challenge in the repliers uh, area, let me say. And so, uh, uh, congratulations again to all of you guys. Good luck for the final moments of the challenge. Uh, in a, and it has been, of course, a matter of a competition for the repliers too. And uh, uh, good luck again. We hope you had fun. We received some pictures from Munich of people playing into the reply office as well. And it has been, I read, yeah, again, a, a good pick to see people uh, together and doing something physically in the same place. The, um, what else? We can be back to uh, uh, Gaspar, maybe. How is it going? You, you, do you have any feedback from the community? They are focused on, on submitting the final. Yes, I, I think the last time. minutes are the, the most important. So I think they are uh, uh, very busy solving the last problems. <laughs> Did you receive any out of the in the teen edition out of the fifth uh, sorry the five uh, uh, problem statement there did you receive any precise feedback about I, I guess that the the people problem was the you know the very hard <laughs> one right yes uh, I received many comments and many questions about the last problems which of course was the hardest among the others and I think that the the first was the first four was. Uh, uh, very understandable by every by everyone, uh, but the last one was uh, of course the, the hardest to solve. So I don't know how many game. teams. Uh, yes, we uh, we were checking together with Marco before that. Uh, uh, I don't know if if it's the team that right now it's on top of the of the leaderboard, but anyhow, they they really spent just kind of five six minutes to to solve the first problem. Yes, the, the first problems for uh, real uh, uh, challengers, for the competitors who are professional, who, who, gives, uh, who uh, compete uh, weekly in uh, challenges uh, are, are very easy for them, of course, because uh, it's experience. So they solve the first problems in, uh, in a couple of minutes, but the last one uh, uh, takes them uh, a couple of hours to completely solve it. So I, I think that was... Uh, uh, really uh, balanced between uh, easy problem and hard problem. 
sure, sure. That we, I mean, we, something we can be proud of, I guess. The and also, Marco, and, and Gaspar, and also I think the painting problem, that, if I remember well, is the fourth. Yeah. It seems uh, not to be so trivial. Yes, yes. Just to give okay. another hint to our contenders. We will uh, see in the last minutes when we will show the final leaderboard uh, for the team edition. How many are solving the problems? Just to mention, they are telling me that he's in plan uh, right after the deadline, so from 8.30, 8.35 minutes, to uh, release, to reveal uh, the score of input number five for the teen edition. So this is something that we can share with the challengers in the teen edition right after the deadline. So from, I mean, yeah, right after 8.30, so in a matter of uh, 15 minutes and something, we will reveal the score of input number five, something that, of course, you are interested in because it's right now unknown by all of you. The, um, okay, it is uh, great again to be uh, back to the, um, yeah, I mean, to, we talked about the teen edition, I guess that we can move a bit uh, on the standard one, you know, okay, of course, right now, that the topic of the problem was the, it was all about 5G and uh, uh, how to uh, allocate, I mean, I would leave, leave the honor to tell us something more about the problem. Alessandro, would you like to, to describe a bit in brief uh, the, the, the problem statement for the standard edition. Yes, we decided to use uh, as topic the 5G, so a new technology, and uh, we did it uh, also a partnership with uh, Invit for, for this. Sure, sure. And uh, it's uh, worth to, to mention this. And uh, yeah, the problem uh, is uh, an allocation problem in which uh, you are basically playing with placing antennas uh, among uh, a territory and in order to uh, maximize your connection with the buildings that are in your map. The, uh, yeah, and the, the, uh, would you like to describe, I mean, I, I, I get that the, the, the kind of scenario that we talk about uh, together with the people in Inuit, from Inuit, sorry, were kind of relevant, right? I mean, the, the, the different uh, usage, the different use case. Yes, we try to map it uh, uh, like real. So we gave also some real constraints like uh, a radius, for uh, the, the antenna and our connection speed. So we try to mock what is uh, really happening in uh, reality. And uh, we also played with, uh, with our map in order to design several scenarios. So really uh, maps, uh, big uh, clustered with buildings and uh, so dense or less dense. So we sure, sure. really, we really did uh, try our best to fit uh, into the reality. Of course, of yes. Course. I see, Gaspare, please. Okay, Be because uh, I think it's useful also to solve real world problems because uh, uh, it is a challenge. But uh, in with, for example, uh, uh, they are uh, really uh, the necessity to build the antennas and to place them in the real world. So. Uh, all these challenges uh, are thinking about uh, a real application. So, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, of course you. Yes, uh, a challenge uh, which is are uh, which are, are not uh, useful in practice, uh, of course, is uh, is not useful for us because uh, uh, we want to improve the, the world in real. They say it's art for art's sake, just a matter of you know an exercise that doesn't have any kind of really uh, useful uh, <laughs> side effect. Yeah, that, that, I guess that that would be good. So we kindly ask to you guys, the challengers, if you have, uh, uh, we will ask again for your feedback, but we uh, definitely hope that you like the, uh, the problem statement and the idea out of it. Uh, so again, it's 20, uh, sorry, 8 and 20 minutes right now, PM, Central European time. In 10 minutes, the reply code challenge will be over because officially we will reach the deadline and we, uh, you will not have any opportunity to submit uh, other uh, solution. I see Marco wired in uh, by checking the, the, the numbers, the solution. And anything new, Marco? No, oh, just checking the fact that uh, in the last minutes we are getting a lot of submission. Uh, we are now more or less at more than uh, 27,000 of them. 
between the two editions uh, and again the podium of the standard edition uh, is uh, continuing changing well, so, I mean, yeah, we, we have something to, to, to reveal uh, right after the, the deadline. Uh, the control room is telling me that we talked about the repliers edition, and people, again, the, the repliers playing, reply employees are playing all over the world on the reply code challenge. This is something that we can add, the repliers are aware of it, but we can share it outside as well, that we build up uh, um, a mad, uh, another leaderboard that is the company leaderboard. So it is a, a weighted average. Uh, I would involve Marco too to explain the thing right here. But actually you see right here the top five uh, uh, reply companies on top of the company leaderboards. So technology reply in Italy, Ringmaster reply in Italy, Blue Financial Services reply in Italy on the top three podium right now. But there are all the others, of course, following. Uh, Marco, would you like to, to tell us something more about this? Yes, we try to to create also this leaderboard by company, just uh, trying to weight uh, some different uh, uh, dimensions that are the number of uh, colleagues uh, that are uh, joining the, the challenge with respect to the number of the colleagues in the, the particular company, uh, and also in some way the mix of the group uh, uh, with respect to the reply companies. So the more uh, the group uh, is mixed, uh, the more they got points. Of course, of course. So we see right here the, the company leaderboard. Uh, I, I guess it, it has been frozen too. I, I, am I right? Or... Yes, it is. It is. As okay, you can okay, see, so it... the last update is 8 p.m. So okay, it has okay, been frozen okay, as a... Thank you for sharing, as, sorry. Yes. Yes. Okay, and, and so we will reveal, of course, then the, the final leaderboard right after, and it's a matter, again, of competition as well. So this is something for the replier's sake, but that we would like to, to share with all of you, uh, the people connected. And by the Marco? way, if you, if you want also to show the, the team, the, the team leaderboard, I mean, because I'm very proud that also our colleagues uh, in some way got very close to the external one this year. So I think right. also inside the reply, we are improving. We are improving a lot. And competing with the external too. So yeah. I see, yeah, there is the, the, the team leaderboard as well uh, for the reply you're scoring. Uh, and I guess that by authorized by Marco, we can share it for a second. The, uh, the, the, the leaderboard of the team in the reply edition. Yeah, but anyhow, doesn't matter. The, the, um, we are approaching the end of our uh, deadline that is uh, again coming in seven minutes till the end of the code challenge for this year 2021 and uh, the Codemasters team together with me is uh, uh, answering the latest feedback and question coming from the players. I guess that we can spend one minute in order to uh, change a bit the topic because as we uh, have announced, the code challenge is not the only, but uh, the sustainable investment challenge is approaching about uh, a very kind of different topic, but that you might be passionate as well, even if curious about coding, the sustainable investment might be something interesting for you as well. So the registration for the Sustainable Investment Reply, Sustainable Investment Challenge are open together again for the second year with our sponsor Banca Generali and other partners that, will, uh, that are already together with us. Uh, the registration are open again, sorry, and the game will be on from April 19 to the 30. So about one month from now, more or less. Uh, we have a beautiful video that we can share thanks to the control room to promote the registration. So uh, I will, yeah, launch the video right now.
So you see it, another beautiful challenge is open for registration about sustainable investments and uh, we are, you are all invited to participants. There are already more than 1,000 registration, I guess. So something uh, again promising for all of you. Uh, Scott, something you are interested in? Investment, finance? Not so much. Uh, Not I tend so to just much. Go with simple investments. Okay, so but, but, uh, may, may I ask, may, with simple, you are not saying Bitcoin or crypto stuff, right? Or, or similar? Oh, I've held that for a long time. No, I just oh, tend no. to go into <laughs> indexes. Okay, okay. Sorry for asking. I don't want to, to it was just my curiosity. Sorry about it. <laughs> no, but, uh, uh, I'm not into things like going on the um, full uh, GameStop train yeah, yeah, with yeah, the, yeah. Uh, the volatile funds. Okay, okay, sorry, just a, a short interview just to ask. We, uh, the, the control room is telling me that we are reaching a kind of a peak of 4.2 submission per second. So <laughs> a kind of a rush moment right now for the latest uh, uh, minutes of the reply code challenge last three minutes at my clock to, uh, to, to send your submission to challenges.reply.com. Um, Alessandro, what's the feeling there? Kind of just fingers crossed and waiting for everything finishing? Yes, let's uh, see what is going to happen. I can tell you that uh, there are really a lot of changes in the standard edition, so we will see until the end. Everything can happen. Yeah, of course, of course. Were you, um, I mean, by growing year by year, the challenge takes, the reply challenge takes oh, year by year many all, all the uh, other participants, many more participants than the previous year. And so I guess that, I mean, they're stressing the platform as well and, and your job as well in general. And always, the stakes are always growing. And, and that's not just easy to, to, to face. Yes, true. We always have every year more uh, participants, more submission. And uh, our job to uh, design a good problem is... Uh, really more difficult every year so and it's also challenging and fun in the that's end. a point that's a point the um, uh, okay yeah we i was checking the clock uh, right now two minutes till uh, the deadline and then we will be able to start revealing uh, uh, at least again uh, the, the the scores for the fifth level of the teen edition and then we will move to the other leaderboards in order to disclose the job please guys you challengers if you want to share with us your feedback again you can do it you can use the youtube and twitch chat to share with us uh, your uh, uh, appreciation or, or whatever complaints or what you like to to, to let us know and uh, uh, okay now one minute more off I don't know if I make the countdown they are telling me that we have the peak of submission five submission per second right now and we are approaching the latest minute that is of course the most frightening one <laughs> and everything might happen we uh, we are just waiting in a kind of I don't know if we make a suspense music right now, kind of hard to do. Gaspar is comp completely wired in. He might use four arms if he, if he has this, but <laughs> it's not. So we, we are very curious about the final leaderboard, so we will see That's some it. changes in the leaderboard in the last minutes. So with five submission per second, uh, many things can change uh, in these minutes. And, uh, yeah, that, that it's even a matter of just trying, you know, to, 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 to try all the solutions you can, right? Yes. So there is no limit. So, and now it's finished. It's 8.30 right now. Yes, I do confirm. So I guess that we have, uh, the, uh, we have reached the end of the Reply Code Challenge 2021. Anyhow, if I can, I will make an applause to all the challengers and the, the Reply Codemaster team that make it happen. Exactly. Thank you. It's just a matter of, you know, <laughs> at least we reach the end the fo after four hours. That's a good point. And uh, uh, OK, I'm just waiting for, uh, you know, uh, comments coming in from the control room and the war room as well. I see them working on uh, on the leaderboard i mean not 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 by changing anything of course but just to see the results uh and there i see it already right can you confirm me this is the unfrozen uh, temporary leaderboard for the standard edition i think so uh, you've just 
not yet. Please no. correct me. Not yet. Not yet, right? Not yet. Not okay, it's still eight o'clock. I see on the chat. So sorry. Th thanks for yes. correcting me. Everything is live, so I don't have to make you know. That's not the final leaderboard. Mistake. Any mistake. That's right. You you know I can continue chatting and saying something different. No problem about it. We but, still uh, need sorry. some minutes to, to finalize the last submission, but in a couple of minutes we will have the. Okay. The okay. I will wait. I, I'm just curious to ask Scott, what's the big thing there in the core? It, it is a kind of a microphone, the, the thing that is on top of your... Yeah, that's the microphone. Yeah, but right now it's off because you are on mute. So I guess that... Yeah, don't worry. No, no problem. Yeah. You're 20... <laughs> well, I mean, that is indeed That's a your microphone. microphone. Ah, okay, that's it. Sorry, because, it, you know, by checking it little, it seems like a big thing. I, I, I don't check if it was... Uh, okay, that's my, again, my curiosity, sorry for that. The, um, okay, waiting for the, uh, the, the, you know, the, the leaderboard changing. I see a comment coming from Joy Pike. I'm pretty confident in my team strategy, we simply stacked all the antennas super high. I don't know if, if it's right or wrong. I would ask uh, maybe Marco to comment it. Or... I, uh, I'll take that one since uh, he's from my company. Oh, it right. is not correct. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's the point. He's from SagePod. Yep. And oh, uh, right. you... th from what I understand, they were not in the top 20. <laughs> Okay, okay, don't worry. I mean, I mean, that's it. It's a strategy, anyhow. It's, and, and thanks for sharing, of course. It's a matter of having fun, above all, all together, networking from all over the world. Uh, and you see that we have uh, guys uh, uh, spread worldwide with Scott from uh, Atlanta, Georgia, in the US. Alessandro is in Munich, Germany. Uh, me, Gaspar, and Marco, we are in, uh, in Italy right now. Uh, yeah, me and Marco in Turin, and Gaspar still in Genova, I guess. And yes. uh, many, many players worldwide, we count more than 95 countries uh, from where uh, we collected the 22,000 registrations all over the world. And there you see our war room where everything is happening right now. Uh, well, uh, Marco, anything new appearing? Not yet. Not yet. Still we are still already. waiting for the for the unfrozen uh, uh, leaderboard, leaderboards, okay, okay. I mean, so for I, the editions. We, we count down and we wait for uh, uh, stuff happening. Of course, uh, it's a matter of the platform to get and work on all the submissions coming in. As we say, the, uh, uh, they told me that, they are telling me that at the peak of submission in the latest minute, we reach 6.3 submission per second, if I'm right, of course. And so the, uh, the, the, the reach, uh, I mean, the total amount of submission at the end is quite high and everything has to be uh, elaborated in order to, to show the score to, uh, into the leaderboard. Um, the, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, it's worth it to see if there is any other comment or feedback coming from uh, YouTube and Twitch. We are live again on challenges.reply.com if anything is worthy to be shared by the players that, of course, are out of uh, the, uh, the game right now. When final results reveal, man, I know it's a matter of minutes. We hope to be able to reveal the results, at least temporary, because, again, we stress this so much. The uh, official results will be revealed within 10 days because we will verify the submissions made by the top three teams. But the temporary leaderboard will be shared in a matter of minutes. So stay with us because uh, there will be something to comment on in the next minutes. So stay with us, share your comments and feedback so far. Game is over, so you don't have anything to be worried about. Just cross your fingers and waiting for the results to appear on the leaderboard for both the standard, the teen, and the replier's edition as well. I don't know if Gabriele, the, the reply ambassador that were used to stay with us before the, the challenge started, will be back with us again. It might be a nice way to, to comment about the game if uh, they, he, together with the, he, uh, his team, uh, if they uh, experienced and liked the, the Reply Code Challenge by uh, disclosing, I mean, by discovering the, the, the problem statement about 5G scenario. And uh, uh, you guys are all not looking at me, but doing other stuff. So I guess that there is something to do very important <laughs> that is, uh, uh, that is r r right now uh, happening. Marco? 
we are just curious uh, as you to to see the, the final leaderboard so we are uh, I, I i mean i'm i'm refreshing the the the, the browser to see if the final leaderboard will be available or not by uh, by looking i mean by browsing uh, the the teams uh, on top of the podium in the middle i see uh, i say of the challenge we saw a lot of uh, let me say uh, a lot of students from worldwide universities. We have again Russia, Ukraine, China, US, uh, Brazil, uh, many, many other, um, many countries, as we say, 95 countries are, uh, are playing with us right now. And uh, uh, I would say a mix of even teachers, professor, university professor, and their students together in the same place to play together. That's something I would say interesting, you know, the, the, the teachers and the students playing together, but I see back together with us, Gabriele. Ciao, Gabriele. Hi, everyone, again. All, all, all fine? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, it was so funny to, to compete, but Thank it you, was man. so, a... so hard this, this year, <laughs> that, I think. Both, are, both of them are great feedback, as we say, <laughs> the Code Masters team here, because if, it, if something has been funny and difficult together, we made the job. And yeah, yeah, for that. sure, for sure. What, what, what did you check on the, uh, even if it's still frozen, did you check on the leaderboard which position you uh, I didn't, reach? I, I didn't check right now. Okay, uh, two, 260, two, 260. And, okay, uh, yeah, but not, not that bad, I would say. Not that bad, but uh, we, we can do better. Yeah, yeah, of course, a matter of improving year by year, but something that I guess it's, uh, it's still interesting for, uh, for you guys, young students, uh, about yeah, to yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 it's, it's, so, it's so interesting, yeah. Thanks for staying with us. Uh, guys, I received the, uh, the news that uh, all of the three leaderboards are right now out and public. So, I mean, the standard, the team, and the repliers one. So I guess that we can, if the control rooms helps me, navigate the final, even if just temporary, leaderboard release right now. I don't know if it has to be uh, refreshed. Please, guys, uh, uh, support me in this. Thank you. Don't worry, we are live, so everything can happen. Just re <laughs> refresh the page and let me know when, ev once everything is shareable here in the streaming so that we are uh, kind of sure about it. I, I just... Uh, here, the mouse of Gaspare rolling, scrolling, and doing. Yes. So <laughs> he's, he's already kind of wired in into his own computer. Uh, so the the leaderboard are out. They are telling me this. Would you confirm? Okay, I see the page is scrolling right now. Don't worry, we are live. Everything will keep as it is. So this is the teen edition leaderboard. I'm kind of sure. And we can comment it together right now, Gaspare, if you'd like. I see on top of the podium as a first team, the uh, Chinese team, uh, Wai Dai San. I guess I'm no, sorry, yes. I'm not pronouncing it right. Uh, then we have a second team with a funny and nice uh, uh, emoticon with the US flag, uh, stars and stripes. So at the second, uh, uh, the US team. Uh, named again smiley face and then yes. at the third place another chinese team rabbit is delicious, it's delicious. That, exactly you you know you know any of the guys here gaspare among the international uh, so the second team was the winner of the last year last team last year so okay, it was okay. so with a good, with a good sure. team uh, yes okay okay so it's kind of the same members or, or different you don't know Sorry, okay, so... Marco, you were saying? No, just, just to highlight that uh, what I said uh, in the frozen period was right. No one uh, did all the challenge right, I mean, because the maximum score uh, for this challenge was 5,000. Uh, and we can see here that uh, the first one got uh, 4,600, uh, so they miss uh, one of the last input in one of the problem. Likely, likely the painting one, since I gave yes. that int uh, in, the, <laughs> in the last 10 minutes.
Yo guys, Gaspare, the, 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 this is a new thing, I guess. The, the past year problems were, have been solved all five, right? Yes, so this is for uh, the first time. So we will check uh, the, for the final leaderboard, but uh, I think that fourth was harder than the last one. So we will okay, see. So uh, that's, th that's something we can uh, ask to the people that have played the, the Reply Code Challenge past year and this year too, if the level increased and they face, uh, they see it as uh, harder than, than past year. Anyhow, that is uh, the uh, temporary, I mean, yeah, temporary leaderboard for the teen edition. And I stress this is temporary because we will get in touch with the top three teams in order to verify all of their solution and then announce the official podium in a matter of uh, 10 days. We hope, of course, even uh, it would take a shorter amount of time. But anyhow, we can move uh, to the uh, standard edition. We saw the teen one and we can move, uh, yeah, by scrolling and scrolling again, the uh, standard leaderboard that sees on the top three position right now, the Olya Countdown team from uh, Ukraine, if I'm right, and uh, uh, then the Rethinkers team from Poland, and then on the third place, the Simplicissimus team from China again, uh, on top of the standard edition of the Reply Code Challenge 2021. Again, here by, uh, you know, slightly uh, check the profiles of the player register, we see here uh, students and, and, and professors together and kind of uh, uh, used in the coding competition. We see that some players here have, uh, have experienced the Google Ash Code games and other international com coding competition. So again, it's a matter of being in the right place here with the Reply Code Challenge, one of the biggest coding competition worldwide annual and we are proud of course of your results achieved and having you part of our community um it would be nice to receive some comments from those top three teams uh, or even by the others of course about the standard edition problem the one about 5g if you liked it if it was uh, something uh i see roman writing all you come down here we are missing about 112 million points what I, I don't know if this is something, I guess, uh, Roman is part of the team, I guess, and uh, uh, we, we will check this if it's something really happening. Uh, I guess, uh, so, sorry, I guess, uh, I, I guess Roman is part of the team that, uh, that uh, came second, because uh, if I did the math correctly, the second team has uh, 112 million points less than the first one. the difference let me say from the the first to the second team and uh, anyhow i would say that you made a great results and a great result and uh, uh, thank you for for sharing your comment any anything that you like to get in touch with us again the youtube and the twitch players are here for that and you can get in touch with the code masters team even on the reply challenges platform uh good to see that on fourth and five team we have uh, uh, other two different countries, a, Japan, a, a team from Japan, if I'm right, KUPC, and then a team from UK, uh, Past Glory, uh, again, the, the, it's good to see, let me say, at least in my humble opinion, that on top of the five, uh, 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 of the standard edition, we have five different countries, very from, far one from the other, and again, we are covering a worldwide competition with uh, uh, at least the, the top five teams, but then I guess that on the rest of the challenge, we, we will have uh, many, many other countries represented. Again, 95 countries represented this year in the Reply Code Challenge. Uh, any, any comment, guys? Marco, Gaspare, Alessandro, Scott? I think that uh, everything uh, went very well. At the end, the submission were very close to 30,000, so a lot more than, uh, than last year, and uh, a lot of them in the last 30 minutes. So all the challengers will, has been engaged till the end, and I think this is good. I hope they had, uh, they had uh, fun uh, together with hard working, as the professor said uh, at the beginning. And uh, let me say, see you next time. Yeah, yeah, of course. The, uh, it, it's a matter of uh, keep growing and keeping in touch with you guys. The, 
the community of challengers by discovering, I mean, we would like to stress this, we are not just an annual community, something that you can play with us just one year. Of course, the challenge uh, will change. We will have the sustainable investment, the uh, digital creativity, the cybersecurity, and again, who knows, many other will follow. Uh, but uh, we, you can stay together with us by playing on the Code Challenge sandbox with the past year problems. There are many, many uh, materials uploaded in the learning section and of course we are loving getting in touch with you even on our telegram channel we have uh, uh, again a dedicated telegram channel i would ask uh, to the control room if they want to share the link right here right now in order to let it visible for all the players there you will see thousands of our coders worldwide and all of you are of course invited to get in touch to network and you know we are reply digital consulting company present worldwide why not to present yourself send us your cv and get in touch for your uh, for your future yeah for your future careers for a promising job opportunity. Yeah, you see right here, the link to our Telegram channel if you want to get in touch with us. And uh, uh, you know that we are present kind of everywhere in any kind of social media profile. So there are plenty of opportunities to get in touch. Uh, again, we, we may have another check. Okay, Roman writing again. I'm from a top one team anyway. Thanks for organizing. We had a great time. Okay, thank you very much, man. We are happy to, to see your comment as well. Uh, I see uh, again the leaderboards that uh, again are temporary because uh, they are showing us the final results, but those results have to be verified together with the top three teams. Uh, so uh, again, uh, for the standard and the teen edition, and the repliers edition as well, we are seeing the uh, final results out of the reply code challenge 2021, more than 22,000 registration. Is there anywhere to find the answers? I guess that France Tech is asking about uh, uh, the, the, the final solutions that, uh, uh, yes, I'm expecting, of course, they will be published right after the uh, confirmation of the solutions made by the winning team. And so there will be ways to get in touch with their solution and to verify the winning solution out of the code challenge. Again, on challenges.reply.com, we will inform you once they will be published. And if you want to get in touch on uh, the challenge portal, you will see the challenge original section where many articles are telling you some of the stories of the reply challenges, including the solution the guided solution to the reply code challenge problems past year. Gaspare, would you like to, you, you wrote that article, it's quite long and detailed, so I guess it's worth it to, to share the challenge original article <laughs> where you, uh, you describe uh, the solution of the past year standard edition problem, am I right? Yes, uh, I think that was a, a good article to the new, to, to these kind of challenges because uh, uh, I think that uh, the hardest part uh, of the code challenge is to get started with something. Once you know how to write the first kind of solution, once you know how the mechanics about the scoring uh, and so on works, uh, then uh, you can uh, optimize the problem uh, to, to the winning, to the first place, of course. Uh, but the problem is how can I read the problem, how, how can I optimize the solution, how can I run it faster, I can uh, opt optimize some, some part of the, of the implementation so on. And that specific uh, article explain you everything step by step from, uh, from zero to a complete solution who can uh, uh, participate and then rank in the first position of a real code challenge. From zero to hero, they say. From zero to hero. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I see that in the chat, it's, it's starting a kind of a flame with all the people saying ciao, Gaspar. So you are a kind of celebrity <laughs> right now. Happy uh, about it? Ciao, Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> OK, just saying hi to all of your fans worldwide. The, uh, um, uh, Marco, you, you were saying something or? No, no. OK, okay sorry. I, I hear the, the, the echo entering, so I was, uh, I was wondering if. Uh, guys, I guess that if there is any other comment coming in, we did the job. It's uh, 
20 minutes after the code challenge deadline, we released the, the, the problem, uh, I mean, yeah, the leaderboard, sorry, not the problem statements that have been released four years ago. And uh, uh, everything seems to be running smoothly. We will get in touch again with the top three teams in all the leaderboards in order to verify your solution. Then there will be published for uh, the interest of all the challengers competing together with us. And we definitely hope that you have fun in all competing together with us this year as well, more than 22,000 registration to the Reply Code Challenge 2021 from 95 countries and thousands of teams that have played with us in the biggest challenge ever made by Reply so far. So again, thank you very much to all the people involved in making this happen. Uh, I would be back to, I don't know, maybe Gabriele, the Reply Ambassador team member. Is there something that you, would you, uh, by looking at your past right now, is there uh, something that you would like to do differently or, or the solution you made is fine? Um, the solution is, is, was not uh, what we think about uh, for four hours. Uh, it, for, is, it, it is the first step for a good solution, I think, but uh, we... Okay. We we don't uh, we 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 don't uh, be able to um, to implement uh, the solution that we we talk about that, that we talked about. So we can we can do, do better. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, but uh, it, it was an art. It's so hard uh, a challenge to do in four hours. That's a point. What, 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 what was the worst, uh, the, the reply code challenge or your worst uh, exam at university since you are about to graduate? Reply challenge for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm sure about it. <laughs> That's a point. You know, students hearing this, university is easier in general. So we are happy to make it it's competing for all of you. Uh, Marco. No, I think that uh, you already did it, but uh, it's worth to remember that uh, I think after these 10 days in which we will uh, review everything, uh, the platform will be open again and uh, also the problem of this year challenge will be available in the, in the sandbox. Uh, and so all the contender could try to have a better solution and try to, let me say, to beat the, the first one that uh, that uh, is now in the in the leaderboard so you can continue to to join the platform and to engage with us uh, uh, trying to get better result or as Gabriele said uh, to to finish uh, the algorithm they thought about yeah there is of course a way to to improve and to to end the job if the time was not enough and you want to try to to improve your score results uh, in the near future Guys, I guess that there's nothing else. Will the next challenge be next year? My friend Miki, yes, of course. I mean, the cold challenge in any form. We don't know it yet because we just finished this one, so we can't predict what's going to happen next year. But we can say that the reply challenges continues with the sustainable investment, the digital creativity, the cybersecurity for 2021, and stay with us for the next year as well. Uh, in order to discover the code challenge in a new form, possibly new form. But for sure, there is something that will never change, that is the passion for coding that you expressed this year, the challenge community, the Reply Codemasters team, and all the people participating together with us. Uh, Joshua say thank you, Enrico, and the rest of the team. Have a good night and weekend. See you next year. Thank you, Joshua. You too. Stay strong and safe. And I guess this is the comment, I mean, a, a recap of all the comments appearing right now. Uh, guys, any other comment? You see, so far so good, all fine. You, 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 you're kind of survivor, it seems to me. <laughs> People that are exhausted and happy to reach a, a beer, right? It was a long day. So. <laughs> <laughs> Gaspar, I, I, I see you're a bit tired. So it's a pity we can't celebrate right here all together in the same place, maybe next year we will be able to do so. Thank you very much to Scott from Atlanta, Georgia, from Sage Path Reply. It's been a pleasure, man. Good luck for everything yeah, and, and keep in touch. Of course. Say hi to, yeah, say hi to the uh, whole Sage Path community and to all the repliers in US as well. Uh, we hope to get in touch again physically in the near future. 
thank you very much, Alessandro from Munich, part of the Reply Codemasters team since years. Thank you, everybody. It was really a nice challenge. <laughs> thank you very much. Enjoyed the, uh, uh, you know, yeah, the, the, the end of the day and then the weekend in, uh, in Munich. Thank you very much to, uh, yeah, I would say Gaspare, of course, uh, or right now one part, uh, uh, a stable partner in the Reply Codemasters team. I see K4ZZU no saying this challenge was so much fun and I'm really looking forward to next year. Thank you all the great challenge. Thank you very much to you, man, for participating. We are, of course, pleased by your comments and all the feedback received. We grow thanks to the feedback. This is the only way we can improve the job. So thank you very much to share your feedback and we got uh, all of your, uh, yeah, you know, there might be complaints, compliments, whatever. We get in touch with them in order to improve and get and, and, and improve more year by year. Andre is saying, I hope everyone from top 50 teams will get a pack of beer. I'm not sure we can, honestly. <laughs> Would be great, but not sure we can. Maybe next year we can do something similar. Uh, Lorenzo, thank you. I add some potassium in order to, to, to survive, <laughs> I think. <laughs> That's great to share. I guess that many of us will need it uh, together with the beer. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Marco. No, I, 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 I see a comment uh, for, from, uh, I cannot pronounce the name. How can we see uh, country rank? We have to think about it to build a country leaderboard. I guess we might be able to do it, even if it's just, uh, I, I can look at the control room if they are waving their arms and saying, no, no, don't do this. But I think that we can do this for this year together with the results achieved. Of course, it's a matter of, you know, that some of the teams might be international. We might have some teams that are mixed, but I guess that we are keeping the flag of the team leader. So that's why we assign a flag to... Uh, to each of the team, then yes, it might be uh, a thing to, to, to propose you a kind of a leaderboard made by country, like in the Olympics, you know, the, that might be a way. Uh, Gabriele, thank you very much, uh, part of the Reply Ambassador team. Good luck for uh, your approaching degree. Thank you for being together with us another time in another live streaming. Thank you too, it's a pleasure. All right, and uh, see you next. And I will leave uh, to you, Marco, the, the, the final words just to, to say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, <laughs> as, as requested, as requested. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Again, I would uh, uh, share my, my, my thanks, of course, to Inuit, that is uh, uh, the company partner for the Reply Code Challenge 2021, as already said many times. And uh, together with them, of course, we'll be back in order to finalize the results and officialize them for all the challengers. Um, anything to add? I, I saw a question, how can we get our certificate that I think is uh, relevant? I don't know, yeah, I don't know the answer, but you can... Yes, we will prepare uh, once the scoreboard is finalized and we will send uh, by email uh, when, uh, when, when all is clear and finalized. Yep, yep, exactly. Once officialized, the results will be able to deliver via email, of course, to all the participants, their certification of participants and their results in the Reply Code Challenge. We already see many people already placing in their uh, CV, in their resume, their participation in the Reply Code Challenge and the way they ranked year by year. So that's another great achievement, I would say, for the challenge itself, but even for you, because you are demonstrating that that's something worthy and important for all of you. We are reaching, approaching nine o'clock European Central Time. So uh, sharp, I, I, we are already in the moment in which we can say thank you to all the people involved. Thank you very much to all the challengers more than 22,000 people participating this year from 95 countries, the biggest counter, the biggest code challenge ever. And I see another comment approaching. Can we continue working on the challenges from the competition? That's definitely a yes. Uh, maybe not immediately with the problem statement right now, but that's something I would ask Gaspar maybe to clarify. Uh, when will the sandbox be available? Uh, that's something I, I don't know if we can already answer right now the question made by Mike, uh, but I guess that maybe the control room can tell us something more about it. Uh, yes, once, yes, 
Yeah, so once, once the, the leaderboard and so on and finalize, we publish, publish uh, the, 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 leader, the, the sandbox to be ever available uh, to everyone. Okay, so, so in the next it's days. Of, exactly, it's a matter of days. That's something we can't, uh, or, or we can promise that we will do it, but we can't already uh, estimate immediately the, the, the amount of time required. But then, yes, that's absolutely our horizon to uh, publish the problem statement in a sandbox mode so that you can play it all over again. End of time. Thank you very much to all the people involved again as well. Uh, as already said, it's been a pleasure and honor for me, Enrico, here from the Reply headquarters in Turin. Reply challenges will continue with the Sustainable Investment One approaching. Registrations are already open. And for the Reply Code Challenge 2021, that's it, guys. Thank you very much. We'll see you next uh, on social media and on challenges.reply.com to officialize this year results of an amazing challenge all over again. Thank you guys. It's been a pleasure. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram and goodbye. Ciao.